The Bamboo Lab H2D has a build plate of 350 millimeters wide. With a single nozzle, that goes down to 325 millimeters, and with dual nozzle, that goes down to 300 millimeters. So what is that saying? Can I actually print 350 millimeters like I thought I could when I purchased this printer? It's still bigger than the X1C, so we should be happy, right? If I'm understanding this correctly, it's saying, here's our build plate. With a single nozzle, you can do this big, and with two nozzles, you can do this big. That's like microwaved popcorn. No matter how much I cook it, I can never get 100% value out of all the kernels. There's always some that just don't pop. But this is Bamboo Lab. They're not microwaved popcorn. They have good quality. There's got to be a way to print 350 millimeters with two nozzles. I'm happy to report there is a way, and I'll show you how. But first, let's talk about why it can't print at 350 millimeters with one nozzle. With the H2D, it has two nozzles, one on the left, one on the right. If you're printing with just the left nozzle, it can reach all the way to the left side, but on the right side, it's limited because of that right nozzle. So we can only go up to 25 millimeters on the right. Let's add this small box. If we drag this over to the right side, we can still print this because we're just using that one nozzle on the right side. Now let's say this was multiple colors. We'll go ahead and draw some blue on here. All right, so there's multiple colors. Let's see if it's going to work. Now, if I slice this in filament saving mode, it's actually going to put it all in the right nozzle since that's the only way it can print right now. And you can see there's no errors. But let's go ahead and say we wanna use one on the right side, one on the left side. Let's put red on the right, blue on the left. And now we have that error, we can't print on both. So this is what Bamboo Lab is saying. If you have two nozzles with two different colors or the same color, you have to shrink the bed down to 300 millimeters at the most. Now I found a loophole, a way that you can print the full size of the bed. And there's at least two ways to do it. I'll show you both of these ways. I'm sure there's others that people will come up with. And I look forward to hearing about those as more creative ways come out. Or if Bamboo Lab releases an update that automatically situates parts to be able to print the whole bed, we will let you know. The first we can make this work is by coloring one side a different color. We'll use this blue again and at least color the right side where that blue nozzle will sit. As you're doing this, make sure you're coloring that full part. I know there's better ways to color this. There's probably more efficient ways. We're just doing the quick and dirty right now. Okay, let's see what that looks like. And look at that, there's no errors. We could go ahead and slice this. Let's bring the blue nozzle on the right side and this will work. So what that will do is print everything on the left side in red and on the right side in blue. Now you might be asking, what if I want it to be the same color? I don't want a part that's just one piece in two different colors. That's fine. You just need to have the same spool on the left side and the right side. The other way you can do this, which is a lot faster and maybe a little cleaner in some ways, is to just cut the part in half. When you do this, make sure you keep the orientation on both and cut two parts. You'll notice I still have that error because it thinks this is one part, but let's go ahead and perform the cut, assign the colors to each side, and then see if it will slice. Okay, let's actually try printing this. I happen to have two spools of this exact color. Let's put it on the left side and on the right side and see how this looks. All right, before we talk about filling up that whole bed, look at the quality of this first layer. This is on the Bamboo Lab HTD. I wouldn't expect anything less, but for someone who's been printing since 2017, having to manually level so many print beds in the past, it's just amazing that this printer can do this automatically with no human intervention. Man, that looks so good. Although I love the color of this filament, it is not that strong. It's very brittle, and you can see as I'm pulling it off the bed, it's just kind of falling apart. Let's try it with some other filament that I absolutely love and it's such a great quality. Man, that looks so good. And listen to this. Hoo-wee, gives me goosebumps. Okay, so we can print a flat rectangle. Whoop-dee-doo. How does this work in the real world? What if we wanted to print something much bigger, like a basket? One concern people have related is there's going to be that seam and they're worried about the adhesion from one part to the next. How is that going to work? Is the print just going to fall apart because there's two sides together? Well, we're about to find out. This is a valid concern. I mean, watch me rip these two apart. It wasn't that hard. So let's bring in something a lot bigger. 
How about this basket? We'll scale this to 350. Remember, there's at least two ways that we can split this. The first one we talked about was simply just painting one side. Now, one advantage to painting versus just cutting a part in half is you can choose where you want that seam. Right now, I'm just coloring everywhere. So if I wanted to hide the seam, here's one way I could do it. First thing I'll do is focus on the line on the left side, and then I'll come back later and fill in the rest. This is just a quick example. I would spend more time making sure those lines are perfectly straight up and down. And I know there's other ways that you could paint this to make more sense. But what I'm really curious about is if we just have a straight cut up and down, can I pull the basket apart? So let's try that. Just like the rectangle, we're gonna cut this right in half. Remember this step, you can't just cut it and hit print. You need to assign the color to each side. I'm choosing the custom mode so I could put one on the left, one on the right. Now I have a different warning, and this is just simply saying I should use supports because there are overhangs. This is where things can get messy. I'm not too worried about the overhangs for these handles or even these small individual pieces. The H2D does a great job with bridging. The biggest issue is down here at the bottom where we have a straight overhang of 90 degrees. You might be wondering why create a box like that? That's bad practice. You always do an angled degree and I agree with you, but this is called a stackable box and it's meant to be stacked on top of each other so it needs that flat surface. If I enable support, this will not print. And this is something I haven't figured out yet. So if you figured out how to print with support going across the full width of the bed, please comment below. You can see I'm getting an error that this isn't going to work. And that's because when support is printed, Bamboo Lab has it print support in the right nozzle and in the left nozzle, so it's not having to switch heads as often, which means the right nozzle needs to print on the left side and the left nozzle needs to print on the right side. There might be a way to do this. If you have the support PLA in the left nozzle and you have support PLA in the right nozzle, it might be able to use that support PLA, but there's two issues with that. One, that means you're using a lot more filament because it will have to push it out to switch colors. And the other issue is more user error on my part. I'm not sure how to program it or to specify to use support on the right with the right nozzle and use support on the left with the left nozzle. Maybe this isn't possible today. Maybe this is something Bamboo Lab will have an update for. But if you have figured out how to print a 350 millimeter part while printing support underneath it, please let me know. Let's go ahead and print this without the support and see how it does. Okay, so far this is looking so good. It's printing on the left side, it's printing on the right side, it is working. And look at how close it comes to that edge. That is using the full build plate. Because we didn't have support, it was detecting a ton of spaghetti on that outer rim and every couple minutes an alert was going off, the printer was pausing. This print is going to take 34 hours as it is, so I'm going to turn off the spaghetti detection, trust the process, and hope that it works. While that's printing, let me tell you about this amazing platform I use called Skillshare. Skillshare has thousands of creative classes in countless categories ranging from beginner to advanced. Categories include 3D design, illustration, animation, film, photography, entrepreneurship, and so much more. It's a place designed by creators for creators. If there's a specific skill you're working on, these classes can help and they're taught by industry experts. Let's say you want to learn how to 3D design. There's thousands of classes to choose from. Maybe you want to improve lighting in your studio. I use this class transform any room into an epic studio and I went from this to this and when it says transform any room let me share a secret with you my studio this studio right here is a utility and storage room check this out the view you see is not what I see I've never shown anyone this before, but you're getting raw footage of what my office looks like. So that class really helped transform this room. If you're looking to perfect a skill or you're curious and want to try this out, I'll drop a link down below. And the first 500 people to use that link or this QR code will get a one month free trial. So don't wait. Okay, the basket just finished. Let's go check it out. Oh, geez, that is on there. Oh, really good. <laughs> There we go. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Yes, it does have that seam right in the middle. There are ways you can hide it more, but the point of this was to see if I could pull this apart. I wanna see how strong it is, and I used very brittle filament on purpose. You can tell the overhangs didn't do so well on the bottom, but we knew that was going to happen. Let me try breaking this on that seam. Oh gosh. Well, I finally broke it, but it was not on that seam at all. I I can't, 
I can't pull it apart. If you're worried about that seam not having good adhesion, I wouldn't worry about that. I would worry more about where you wanna hide that. Maybe hide it in a corner if you have a part that allows you to do that. Or if there's a natural break in colors, you can hide it that way like Bamboo Lab does today. So there you go. Is it possible to print 350 millimeters? Yes, it is. You need two nozzles. And if you want it to be the same color on the left side and right side, you need that same color of spool. Is the Bamboo Lab H2D worth it? I bought one myself. It wasn't sent to me as a sponsorship and I would buy it again. It has been amazing. It has been fun. It has saved me time. It has saved me money. If you're thinking about buying one, go ahead and use the link below. Like I said, it's not sponsored by Bamboo Lab, but using that link does help us create more videos like this. If you're on the fence about buying the H2D and you want to know if it's worth it to you, go ahead and check out this video. I think that's it.